Man, I I, I got to give a, a quick, not even quick, but I got to talk about the, you know, uh, the tragic incident that happened with Takeoff, man. R.I.P. R.I.P. Takeoff, man. That's, it's so unfortunate, like, when you, when you see... I mean, it's, there's a lot of things that, that's unfortunate about it. Number one, it's it's unfortunate that it even happened. It's unfortunate that it happened over a dice game. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and it's unfortunate that it went to the, it got to where it went to. Like it didn't need to get there, right? If there's if there's a disagreement or something, that's one thing. If there's, you know, if there's a dif- disagreement and, and then punches start being thrown. That's another, but to go to that extent and that length so quick, and then for a person, you know, he's twenty, he's younger than me. It's just crazy. I'm, I'm just realizing now too, he's younger than me. He's twenty eight years old. You know, I think I want to say he, shot, he was he said he was shot like two times. That's unfortunate. Uh, it's just, you know, it was like it was out of nowhere. Especially too, like if I'm a fan of the Dream Champs. Uh, podcast or drink chat show, you know, they, him and uh, Takeoff and Quavo, Quavo was just on the show talking about life and how, you know, the things that they talk about in their music are more like maybe not to a full extent of positive stuff, but they talk about cars, money, Bentleys, and, and they talk about all that stuff because they're trying to speak it into fruition and they talk about, they feel like they manifest a lot of stuff when they're saying that. That's why they, they don't talk about a lot of death in their, in their music. They don't ever talk about like when I die this and when I die that, you know? So it was like, man, hearing, looking back and, and, and hearing that again, it was unfortunate, you know? And then also giving to him the respects and his flowers. He talked about, you know, on the episode two, he said like, Hey, give me my flowers now. Not, I don't want them later. I don't want them later. You know, a lot of times, because whenever you have, and I guess it's, you know, the nature of everything, we compare a lot of things and we kind of vote on, you know, like whether it be MJ, Kobe, LeBron, who's the best this, who's the best uh, rap rapper, Jay-Z, J. Cole, Kendrick, Drake, you know, there's always comparisons and there's always that, you know, that fun debate that a lot of people do. So the same thing happened with the Migos. It was like, who's the best rapper, Offset, Takeoff, Quavo, who's this, who's that, you know what I'm saying? Like, and they had a lot of people would always put takeoff at the bottom of the totem pole as far as from the three. And then a lot of people would be like, nah, he's the top. And so that's just, that comes with, you know, with hip hop in general. And it's just, it's, it's unfortunate that we did that for one, but it's, it, but now it hits more when he talks about like, you know, give me my flowers while I'm here, as opposed to, he's like, I don't want them later, you know, and look at like, and now that this transpired, it's like, man, it's really unfortunate, you know, and then him and for that, to happen, you know, with Quavo being there, and mind you, they're they are family, they're real family members. They're not. I don't want to say it's like his uncle and his nephew or cousins, I think, or an uncle and nephew. Yeah, like real family members, you know. So regardless, if, if you if you remove the title takeoff, if you rem- remove the title of rapper, if you remove the group Migos and everything, you're talking about first of all human beings, right? We're all human, and then on top of that, you're talking about a man that has a family. And then who had his family member there with him, you know? So it's just, it's unfortunate in, in all levels and all directions. And it's also unfortunate that social media has it, the videos so quick, you know, like it's, that it's tragic, yo. And, and, you know, are you thinking about the family members that have to see these videos that get circulated around? Like, you know, that, the video, I saw a video that, that same morning, you know? And it was just like, geez, you know what I'm saying? Like some, I, and it wasn't even like I was intentionally, trust me when I say I wasn't even fine. I wasn't even trying to search it. It just popped up on my thing. And it's like, man, that was, they quick, they are quick to put those videos up, you know? And it's like, it sucks, you know? It just dropped an album too. And for it to, I guess I'm just thinking about too, more so of the number. Like I said, 28 years old, younger than myself, you know? And over what? Over what? Like a, you got a little, in a little argument, you know, over what? A dice game? You know what I'm saying? Like, how did it get to the direction that it went to? Like I said, I saw the video and it's just like, it's so quick, man. It was, is just to go there, you know, like that's just gunshots, yo. So quick, like quick, quick to go there. And it's like, again, just saying, 
I can't reiterate it enough. It's just unfortunate all around. It's unfortunate and no matter which way you think about it. And yeah, I got to think about that stuff, not go to those extreme lengths so quick for, for things that it's, I think about it uh, even myself too, not to, not to bring, you know, include myself in the situation at all, but it's just more so like of the, of the talk to the lesson on it. I'm not that heated as I used to be when I was a, you know, a youngin. a lot of shit. I'll just, okay. Turn the other cheek, look away. Uh, someone stares at you for a long time. Okay. Just look the other direction. Not everything is, can be taken as a threat. If someone's going to come at you or, or say some stuff or try to get chipper with you. Okay. You just, you don't, you let that shit go. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, whatever. Cool. And, you know, I don't know if it's just, I don't know, growth, age, having a child myself. I don't know what it is about that maturity or matured from that. I don't know. I don't know what you can credit it to, but you let a lot, a lot of that shit go. You know, imagine if they would have then be like, all right, cool. And I'm just going to, I'm dipping. I'm up out of here. All right, whatever. Cool. Cool. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's unfortunate is what I'm trying to say on all that. So RIP takeoff. Man, one of the one of the pillars in that too, you know. I don't think you, you don't get amigos without him. You, he's he's the one that pushed uh, takeoff. I mean, uh, sorry, he's the one that pushed Quavo into doing it. He's the one that told him, yeah, you should do this rapping shit. You know, you should do it. You know, so between influencing a uh, a style in in rap, you know, in hip hop, and and being a pillar in the South and, you know, to doing solo songs and solo projects and, you know, kind of carving and crafting his own, his own lane. And yeah, just unfortunate, man. 28. So RIP takeoff.